Coffee, four flight, and a little bit of the morning sun ran through our veins as we planned our trip to Vegas. Alright, autopilot's off, awesome oh, pilot's on. Directly to okay. So why are we going to Vegas? We're gonna relight our soggy match. <laughs> you bring the, you bring, I'll bring the lighter fluid, you bring the torch. Yeah, I don't we'll think that's that, gonna We'll get that shit good. relit. Yeah, we'll do it. Are we talking too much? You passed, yeah, there's this boat there's, right there. There's the lake, we gotta make a turn. You're always missing your exit. <laughs> Planning on uh, going to the Mojave Desert to go dirt biking and stay out there for five days. And then um, when I was hooked up the trailer, had everything ready to go, we got like an hour down the road, it just wasn't shifting right. I was like, you know what, let's just call it. Well, let's take you back to the beginning here. We're departing uh, Calaveras in Northern California for a spontaneous trip out to Las Vegas because our transmission in our truck blew up and we are no longer able to take our Mojave Desert dirt biking trip. So we decided to go to Las Vegas, Red Rock, get a Maserati, and uh, find our way to Paso Robles uh, and visit a friend that owns a winery out there and uh, meet up with a couple good people. So here you can see Monique about to take off and uh, pick up flight following. She's a student pilot and very skilled at that. NorCal, Comanche 9238, Papa, VFR request. And who had a VFR request? Comanche 9238, Papa. 9238, Papa, NorCal. NorCal, Comanche 9238, Papa, requesting VFR following, flight following from Calaveras to Henderson, Hotel November Delta. Currently 4,500, requesting 115. Yeah. November 3, Papa, right here. What's the uh, designator? Hotel November Delta. Air Hotel November Delta, Henderson for 38 Pop. The aircraft is in Oh. Oh, it's a PA 24260. PA 24. Number 3, Pop, right? Stand by for being good. Good job. Number 3, Pop, is clock 6371 for 3 pop. Good job. 27.4, good day. 27.4, 9 good day. That was amazing fruit. Give me some knocks. Oh, oh. someone put it in though. 6 oh, yeah. 7 1. 7 1. And he'll still come back at you and say, like, oh, I got you five miles south of Calaveras Airport. November 3, Papa, radar contact five miles southeast of Calaveras Airport, D stock now for 3026, and where for the altitude leaving, what do you claim me after? Position checks for 38 Pop, currently 5,500, requesting 11.5. November 3, Papa, Roger, via for altitude, there at your discretion. My discretion. My discretion, 38 Pop. November 3, Papa, how are you navigating for Henderson? Oh, go for it. Uh, for this is uh, Command G 9023 at Papa. We're going to go direct to Fresno and then cut over Lake Isabella and then uh, hopefully get clearance through the uh, 2511 restricted airspace and then direct uh, search light and then the Henderson. Roger. Yeah, I was. <laughs> this is a bit, bit out of I here. I would have said direct Fresno around restricted area to Henderson. He know. probably doesn't need to know. Open November 21263, Narcal Approach. Roger, these stock knots for a three zero. Angle right. One more on you than my ugly mug. Well. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. This Ugh. is called hypoxia Dodge. at its finest. Yeah, it's really setting in. And we're only at 11.5. I know. And it mind you that uh, pre-workout is fully, fully loaded, so. At your discretion. That's, that's the kind of fully loadedness I need. With your your current VTAC situation. Yeah, all right. Well, what are we doing? Where are we going? We are going to Vegas. From where? Calaveras. Northern California. Northern NorCal. NorCal to a, just a spontaneous trip to Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah, so we're over Bakersfield right now. The land of enchantment. And uh, we're about to turn east over to Lake Isabella, Lima 05, and then we're gonna dip and dive our way through. They added another restricted airspace. I'm pretty sure they did. It's called Restricted 25. Papa, change to my frequency 118.8, it's not already. 118.8 from 118.9. Papa, change to my frequency 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 118.9
loaded. Cool. I mentioned three pop with you. Or three pop with thank you. No thank you. Oh. They added this restricted two five eleven in between all the Edwards air support. You could usually like if you're going east, like kinda like dip and dive your way to like Trona and then Vegas directly from like Bakersfield, but they added this little block, so I'm gonna see if we can get clearance through it. If not, we're gonna have to go up the Owens Valley, which is back tracking, and then hook around back to the south, east. Airbent Tango. Uh, and then he say waters? For coastal waters, he said. Yeah. Yeah, so, anyways. It's cold out here today. It's 17 degrees outside. I've never flown when it's been this cold. What's, what's the coldest? I don't think I've really paid attention to I've that. I've never I've, been. I always pay attention to that now. Yeah, we're usually like 40 degrees or something, but I've never been cold flying in an airplane. I always look at people like flying with jackets on. I'm like, how the fuck? It's like a greenhouse in here. But now I understand because even the panel is cold, like these instruments. I wish there was like some kind of like heat you could blow on the instruments there or is. something. I'm blowing it now, it's freezing <laughs> <in> here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm doubled up with my shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's... Oh, yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I had a shirt as well, but unfortunately it pointed the wrong direction. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure you knew which stupid I was with. Yeah. So. I looked down and like, I actually brought, I did bring it. Oh, did you? Yeah. All right, so at least we can, we can, we can walk around Vegas with it or something. There you go. Yeah, so anyways, after Vegas, we're going to be going over to Paso de Robles to meet a good buddy, Rod, and his wife, Layla. Um, and so we're going to go meet up with one of their friends who has a winery out there. We're going to stay two days in Vegas. We're going to get a Maserati because... Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to fly with a Mas or drive a Maserati. Uh, we're gonna go around a Maserati, which I'm really looking forward to. Oh. Did you yawn one more time? No, no, I didn't. Oh. I farted. Oh. Oh. I had to take a deep breath before I farted. Bump along. Autopilot's on, awesome pilot's off. Okay, so what's the flight time from NorCal to Vegas? Oh, yeah, well, if we have to come down, we're not going direct over the Sierra Nevadas because there's a pretty strong northerly wind at like 25, 30 knots. So we're going from like like Sacramento area, Stockton area. Uh, we're going down the valley to Fresno, Bakersfield, and then we're cutting east over uh, Lima 05, which is Kern River, which is a great little airport, by the way. They now have fuel as of 2023. Um, and then we're going straight dr or direct, um, pretty much um, uh, Vegas. So it's going to be it's going to be two hours and fifteen minutes. It's a uh, four hundred and four nautical miles away. We're going. Did Kern have fuel last year in two thousand twenty-two? They did actually. Okay. Get too warm. Yeah, kind of. So just because you gave the route to Kern and then to Henderson, I, if I'm not mistaken, you said the flight from through Owens Valley to Henderson was only like 10 minutes faster? Yeah, if we went direct over the steep, rugged mountains down like through Bishop um, and then direct Las Vegas, it's like 10 minutes faster, which I don't really... I don't really care. I mean, there's lots of airports on this, uh, on the valley side of, of California, so I like options. I like airports to land at if I need to. So we just chose to just loop it around, add 10, maybe 15 minutes to the flight. Uh, stay away from the turbulence. That was a deciding factor. I didn't want to cross the mountains with a 30 knot um, at 12,000 feet uh, northerly wind when we are trying to go east. we just get some mountain, ro mountain ro uh, wave, and I don't really want to deal with that, so... I would just like to comment on how much greenery there is in the Central Valley right now. I yeah. cannot believe how green everything is. Yeah, we got dumped on this January, that's for shizzle. It looks like a giant golf course. Like, you know how the golf course is like perfectly green? 
Yeah. That's what the valley looks like. Yeah, the whole it looks thing. Looks odd. It looks odd. Are we passing it? Passing what? <laughs> oh. Are we talking too much? Can you pass? Yeah. There's Isabella there's, right there. There's the lake. We got to make a turn. Oh, sorry, folks. We yeah, missed sorry. our exit. Make it to approach Command Sheet 3 apart. We're going to be turning uh, 060 towards uh, Lake Isabella. Oh, you're no different in your, in your driving a flying an aircraft <laughs> as you do driving an uh, F-250. You're always missing your exit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, now, can we just discuss the fact that we're on this fly trip instead of road trip because our oh, desert desert trip... That's very true. What um, what we what we were planning on doing is going um, freaking I am stupid. So I got a new transmission in our truck, which I mean I drive we drive older vehicles. I like old things, you know. I'm married <laughs> old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, ouch. Ouch. they're more reliable. Yeah, they That's are. That's why. You got all their kinks worked out already. <laughs> so, um, anyways, 2000 F250 73 diesel. Just put a brand new transmission in it, and um, it doesn't work right. <laughs> so, so, we were planning on we were planning on uh, going to the Mojave Desert to go dirt biking and stay out there for five days. And then, um, when I was hooked up the trailer, had everything ready to go, we got like an hour down the road, it just wasn't shifting right. I was like, you know what, let's just call it. Or, trying to figure out what else to do, so we had five days off. And we're like, well, let's go see if we can fly somewhere. Yesterday was super bad. It was like crazy windy. Um, and so we got delayed a little bit. So we got four days instead of five days, but I'm not complaining. But anyways, uh, we just concocted this uh, flight from Northern California to Vegas because we haven't been in Vegas since, uh, what, how long has it been? It's been like 13, 13, uh, 13 years. 13 years. Yeah, 13 years. When I first became a nurse, um, I told her the first thing I'm going to do with my paycheck is go and blow it all in Vegas. So, um, yeah, 13 years ago, my paycheck was a whopping 1800 bucks as a new nurse working nights. And we spent every penny in Vegas. And I don't even gamble. I think I just poured it in my mouth. <laughs> I think <laughs> so, you're right. That I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, we partied. Um, so now we're going back there um, uh, 12 years later to rekindle our soggy match marriage What'd you say? Uh, <laughs> we're, we're you're, trying re to, you're trying to quote my, yeah, what'd you my say? words That's hilarious. of wisdom. My words of wise wisdom. Oh, so why are we going to Vegas? We're gonna relight our soggy match. <laughs> you bring the, you bring, I'll bring the lighter fluid. You bring the torch. Yeah, I'll look at that. Look at that, we'll that shit relit. Yeah, we'll do yeah, it. I'm so optimistic. <laughs> Want to buy a new pack of matches? That's hilarious. Went right over his head. Yeah, it did. Cool. Doing my cross checks. We're flying over some rugged area right now over Kernville, so. No. You know. Makes your butt pucker, I know, baby. No, it doesn't. It's just fucking cold. I'm kind of shaky. You turned the heat off. I know. Will you turn it back on? Yeah. Thank you. Don't confuse uh, his shakiness to being cold. We all know why he's shaky. We all know. We all know why you're shaky. <laughs> <laughs> trying to approve you as a driver with Turo so that you can, uh, drive your Maserati that you requested. Hell yeah. Maserati. Um, I'm gonna throw a Hail Mary out there. Hold on a second. Papa, contact Joshua Approach 133.65. Good day. 133.65. Good day. Command you 3, Papa. 33.65. Uh, yep. Uh, loaded. Sounds good. Turn the heat down, I was burning my ankle. Jesus Christ. Joshua Perch, Comanche 902, Tree 8 Pop, 11,500. Comanche uh, 902, Tree 8 Pop, Josh Perch, the Edwards altimeter is 3014. 3014 uh, is uh, restricted 2511, active today. Yeah, that's what I was like. It sounded Usually, like you said 166. Like 6,000. Six, uh, 6, like yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't know. Whatever, man. Ooh, 16 degrees outside. Holy 
guacamole. Ooh, we're pretty much just gonna follow these roads through here. I don't really know what it's gonna take um, as far as like, I don't know what the winds up here are really gonna be doing to us, so. We're kinda in the middle of stuff. I'll turn you around. I can kinda see our view. Darn it, it's stuck. Another trucker. So our original plan was to be coming down the Central Valley, California. We are going to be going towards Bakersfield and then cutting up towards Lake Isabella right here, which is a great little airport, and then coming th down through the mountains and then hopefully getting clearance through uh, Restricted 2515, which is a new restricted area as of, I think, like October 2021. Um, and so from there, we wanted to come up through here and then go into Searchlight and then into, into Henderson. Um, and then obviously the 30 knot winds coming from the north uh, were pretty bumpy because we have quite a bit of mountain range, uh, large mountain range there and 11,000 foot peak right there. Um, so that was our plan around. The three and the five, there's that little slit and you'll, okay, if you yeah, want to avoid the- Trona, the, oh, I just have to get over Trona's airport and then just then probably pop right, over that yeah, mountain Yeah, in right that there. little, through that ridge and you'll miss the okay. mountaintops if you want to do that. Yeah, cause, you can see that right there in between the yeah. there and then you'll get back on course. So we're, um, I just turned the camera on, but we're now thread the needle um, just east of the Owens Valley through like restricted 2511 by Trona, which is Lima 72. And this is a 160 knot airplane and we're doing 114 knots across the ground right now. I do have the power pulled back just because the, we're gonna, I thought we were going to get some turbulence, so I'll put it back. Full power. Um, <laughs> we're, we're headed north and the, like 35 knots of wind, or more obviously, is uh, forecasted. So we're going to head back, or make a turn to the east towards Vegas here pretty soon, hopefully, after we get past this. It's like threading the needle between restricted areas here. Um, but yeah, 116 on the ground speed. Yahoo. I don't even go that slow to come into land. He's not kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you see what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll get over uh, Trona. We're probably going to get bumped along, but then the, the mountains kind of die down after this ridge, after we turn right, and then we'll probably be a lot better. One radar contact, one zero miles north of North Now it's just a preference on if you want to cut in between the two, that ridge, or if you want to cut across, because you're, you'll be well past the restricted. Will we? Okay. Yeah. So it's just your, at your discretion. Yeah, baby, there's the, uh, the wind back, 150 knots. We just went from 120 something knots, or 116 knots to 152 knots, just turning, uh, 30 degrees. Did you say, yeah, baby? Yeah, baby. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you. I like my iPad mini. I can't say what I want to say. Insensitive. And just in preparation for this mountain and the, the wind, it's probably going to start nailing us. I'm just going to power back. Pardon? How are we looking? Is it blowing me? It probably is blowing me, huh? Oh, you're good. I'm going to start. I'm going to turn a little bit more to the left. When we maneuver, maneuvering speed for this plane at gross weight is 144 miles an hour, so. But that's like, that's like full deflection, I believe, like, of the flight controls and shit, so. Tahoe 8A, roger, and uh, We're headed right towards Death Valley, if we kept this heading. Okay. How am I doing with that restricted? Very good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could probably turn a little bit more to the right. It's not blowing me that much. No. I want to be called expert when they call me. 
Telescope. How are we doing? Telescope. Oh, we're good. That's Telescope Peak. It's 11. 11. Like right at 11,000, huh? Yep. Telescope. We'd be 500 feet above it, which is pretty hard to imagine, but I'm not flying over something oh, like that. Oh, hell no. With a fucking 30, 30, 30 knot wind. winds now. So, 31, uh, Ida traffic, 2 miles west of... Sun feels awesome. Oh, I bet. Yeah, you're in the sun. 31 radar contact over Owens Lake, uh, say altitude and... How are we doing with the restricted? You can continue, great. You can continue to your turn. Turn, turn to where? Show me. Um, uh, maybe zero four zero. Roger. Oh, okay. You're about ready to cut off that corner, and then you can just uh, join your agenda. Alright. Well, you know that turbulence that I was talking about due to the winds from the north? Well, they started shortly after this. Caused the GoPro to fall off the mountain, I just didn't have the will to put it back. ATC was vectoring us, and we just disappointingly didn't get much footage of us, or any at all, landing in Henderson. But we did get the Maserati. Yeah, I told you I was coming here to get a Maserati. You don't believe me, huh? good faith agreement that both Monique and I have is I take her out late at night drinking and she takes me early in the morning hiking. Now it's my time to hold up my end of the bargain. So we're at Red Rock right now, a little off the trail, kind of bushwhacking it, but we'll get back on the trail. Beautiful area, highly suggest it if you've never been. Oh my. So we got a Maserati, <laughs> it's a twin turbo, and then Monique goes to open the door, <laughs> the door, it almost hits the curb right there. Don't park me so close. I know, huh? Oh, it's funny. All right, so we flew to Las Vegas because our trailer towing expedition didn't end up going as planned the trucks brand new transmission took a shit so um we are we look well let's fly to vegas tomorrow we're gonna go meet rod in house robles so um in the process of getting a rental car they're kind of expensive huh well we were going to rent from hertz or enterprise out of henderson executive airport yeah and they were going to be like yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, like 350 bucks for like a mid-sized car. Yeah. So we got on um, Turo and um, we rented a Maserati. <laughs> for the same price. For the same price. Hey. Oh, sweet. This thing's rad. Bang. Yeah. Red interior to go with the Red Rocks because we're at Red Rock State Park. This thing is twin turbo and it's on sport mode. Do you hear that? Yeah. Van Halen? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Let's jam it. Oh. Let's go. Woo. I know. <laughs>
stay in the left three lanes. Uh oh. <laughs> so after a couple of days of debauchery, our departure out of Henderson was uneventful, except for the GoPro didn't record any audio, so I'm going to write a strongly worded letter to GoPro and they're not going to care. But we had a great flight and we'll level off and somehow the GoPro just starts recording. But it was kind of a bummer because we didn't get any of the goodness captured that I wanted to get. Um, cool, so... We're over Mojave Desert, skirt through restricted 2515 on a Friday because it's not hot today. We are coming back from, not coming back, we're actually already left Henderson. We're about an hour into our flight. We have another 50 minutes to go to Paso Robles on the California coast. Um, Thank you for not saying Robles. Uh, um, and we're going to go meet our friend Rod and his wife Layla for um, some, some wine tasting in Paso, Paso de Robles. Actually, we're going to go visit my friend Layla oh. and her husband, Rod. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever. Well, they're, Rod, Rod, and Layla are flying their, their Diamond Star GA40 up from um, Orange County. So they're screwed. They just went up the coast. They're, they're going to be landing in about 10 minutes. We have another 45 to go. So uh, when we get there, we're going to chug some landing beers at the uh, at the restaurant. Oh, so we're just kicking it right now. 167 knots. Our true air speed. It's like 188, 190. So we're getting like a, a really strong like crosswind right now. It's kind of blowing us to the north. Um, what is the order today? We have a traffic coming below us, a uh, thousand feet from our right to left. Got it. Okay. Should be good. Got him on. So. He is only going 100 knots. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we had a great freaking time, great time, time, time in Vegas but, uh, getting that Maserati. Yeah, that was freaking killer. Okay, and how much further do you say I have to go on this heading? It was killer, killer, killer. No, it was absolutely beautiful. That car was gorgeous. Maybe about eight yeah, it was um, the twin turbo right, version. Continue this way. I am a little tired of listening Usher to Pro the uh, Maserati song that you repeatedly play. Joe Walsh. Yeah, one. One. I've never heard of Joe Walsh. Yeah. Yeah. My Maserati does 185. MX-3523, heavy I lost uh, my license, now I don't drive. Yes, still Victor Bruce. Ooh, got him in sight. <laughs> right under us. Uh, I mean, it's a thousand feet five appropriate, three. you know, Which but approach, still. Hell yeah. Alright, so, um, on a lighter note, one I one found us a non-stop flight round trip to Los Cabos. Wow. That's pretty good. I like the idea of that. I like the idea of nonstop. Yeah, me too. It's only three hours. That's so cool. I think if we fly the Comanche there, it's like five and a half. Man. What a great airplane. Joshua approach, velocity 173, echo It's right so busy, I can't hear myself talk, which means you guys can't hear me talk. And it makes me upset because I'm kind of an important guy. It's not right. There we go. Alright, we'll start our descent into KPRB. Professional bull ride. Paso Robles. That's PBR. I know. It just reminds me. You always say that, and I'm like, why does he say that? Autopilot's off. Awesome pilot's on. Okay. Center Comanche 3, Papa VFR descent, Paso Robles. Center Comanche 3, Papa, run. 
to so for one nine, I'm going to be landing, okay. going, traveling this way. So I'm going to go oh, got it. right, right down, or, yeah, right downwind. Right downwind for, for uh, yeah. one nine. Okay. Because yeah. this is, but this. So it looks like everybody was coming in and landing this way okay, on a one so nine. That's not right pattern. Sorry, left pattern. Thank You're you. right. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we'll be on the right side of the airport. Okay. Yeah, so left, left, pattern, left downwind. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Just in case you couldn't tell, my wife is very smart and extremely quick-witted. She did catch my mistake, and it confused her. Rather than just taking my word for it, she questioned me like a good co-pilot, and she's going to make a fantastic freaking pilot herself very soon. Also, too, with this plane when you're flying it, we're good because it's smooth air, but there is forecasted turbulence, so let's try to keep it out of the yellow because the yellow is for smooth air. The green is for not so smooth air. Okay. So you can do two things. Power back a little bit. We're doing a thousand feet a minute of descent, or you can just gently lift the nose and bleed off some speed. Okay. So it's just kind of like a balancing act and then trim it to where you want it. But because we're, our I flight plan for like 160 knots descent, right? We're doing 180 knots right now. So because we're trying more ground, we should be descending at a faster rate just to make sure that, you know, we're, we're going to hit our target. Okay. PRB in sight, Paso Robles. Landing beer. Oh, man. It only took two hours. Our flight time. Oh, shit. One hour and 40 minutes from Las Vegas to Paso Robles. Comanche. 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 All right. I'm going to swing off to the left a little bit. Join the downwind? Yep. So I'll do like a, a, a 45 for left, the downwind for one, runway 19. It depends on what they're using. What, what else is. So it's at 808. So it's a direct crosswind. I mean, I guess 1-3 might be the better option. So it is so beautiful out here. I wish I had another GoPro to like point that way, but uh, they're expensive and I spent all my money in Las Vegas. We have another GoPro. I know, I don't have a mount, the 361. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a mount for it. Well, I do back here, but it's, I need to, I want to put it on the tail, but the mount, like, I feel like you can make it. It's like 70 bucks and it's just a bunch of like hardware. Yeah, but it goes it. outside on the plane. Yeah, I know. I, probably, I don't want I you probably, make, I don't want I probably you. shouldn't make I'd, my own. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, all right, whatever. Number 923, Papa Radar Service, on VFR, sequence change of route. All right, uh, Squawk VFR, thanks for your help. 3 Papa. VFR. One, two, three, point zero. One, two, three. More saddle. Loaded. Mama's Arabi is 185. I lost my license and now I don't drive. What you looking at? I was looking at, okay, so we're landing 1-9, but 1-9, this direction, and then the winds are going to be coming uh, from the quarter. You can, so look, right? if you, th this is really good because it's surrounded by VOR. So if we're running one nine, oh. it's coming this way. So you can always look at that VOR. That's really, it's a really good example oh, of okay. situational awareness. Yeah. So it's, we're gonna have a direct, direct crosswind at five knots from the left. You can double check me on that. All right. All right. I believe I have the airport environment in sight. I'm not gonna get tunnel vision yet. It's almost gonna be like a rear. I'm gonna burn up my leg. We still have to get the gear down. That's a really good idea. Uh, we'll put the gear down just a little bit. Roger. Putting the gear down is a good thing. Go Putting ahead, the gear ahead. down is a good thing. Are you singing? I don't know if you call it singing. I think but you're singing because you're about to get a landing. Landing beer. Do 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 do. Is there a restaurant? Super freaky. Yeah, there is. We we've, we've been at it before. Pass Robles traffic command sheet three eight Papa's a four mile forty five runway a one niner. Passer. Passer. All right, gears down, prop set for go around. My command she goes 185. I don't get a speeding ticket when I'm flying high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. oh man. Oh, so gorgeous. So green. I know. APIs look good. Oh, pressure good. Oh, temp good. Oh, fuel flow's good. Creeping in on the runway a little bit, sorry. That's a sloppy pattern. Bad, Eric. 
Call me Bad Benny. Bad. You Bad Bunny. Benny. Benny. Ooh. Bad Bunny. It would have turned me on so much if you would have nailed it, but you didn't, so. I, I preferred the bunny. Okay. All right, starting at 500 foot of mid descent. We're beam 19. Pass traffic, major three at Papa. Left downwind, beam 19. 419. Faso. Beam the note 19 for the 191. One, uh. Oh. My god, that was a big bird that passed not very far away from the Comanche's poor wingtip. Oh. Pass traffic, Comanche 3, Papa, left base, one niner. Passo. Down, 90, 95 the airspeed. Power's back to idle. Bleed off all of this energy. Good Ooh, job. Darn nose Beautiful. Gear. Beautiful. No, that was I'm pretty. the best. That was pretty. I am the best. All right. Or, uh, hey, or, hey, speed brakes, please. Speed oh, brakes. Oh, it's cold. Speed brakes. Oh, hail to the nose. Use your regular brakes. No. Oh. Beautiful landing. Yeah. Put that back in there. Oh, no. Oh, review. How's the roadways traffic? Comanche 38 pops. Landing long. Runaway 1 Niner off in Delta. Taxi to FBO. Paso. What? Just came over here because Rod's over here. I don't even know if there's a parking spot. Landing beer! <laughs> Alright, avionics off. Beer's cold. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what up, Rod? You don't know I'm filming you, but I am. Have you done your introductions? My introductions? Comanche meet Diamond Star. Oh yeah, I didn't introduce them. I'm gonna steal your avionics out of here. I got, I got Stella's backseat pads. Yeah. Freaking, a lot of room in this bad boy. Well, front to back, not so much side to side. Why? Oh, there you hey, are. Layla just can't find you on the... Oh, shit. I can't find him. <laughs> hey. uh, it's my sunglasses. Uh, are you not climbing anymore? You should I level off? Exactly. Yeah. I see you. There, there we go. go. Yeah, boy. I see you, boy. Yeah, man. Look at that pretty bird. Oh, uh, that looks good, E. That's too close. That is not that close. Now I'm gonna climb and uh, make my turn to the left. All right, baby. Hey, thanks a lot. We had a good time, man. I'm uh, I'm heading the other way. I'm right below you and going to your right. Oh, that looks good. Good flight, guys. Yeah. Even though our truck's transmission gave out and prevented us from our plan A, which was a dirt bike week in the Mojave Desert together, I don't want to underestimate that that transmission is a small problem. We're all both safe and we have the ability to do other things. And we're very blessed to have the Comanche and even consider the fact that we can fly out to Las Vegas and then to Paso Robles to meet up with our very good friends. What an incredible opportunity that we have, and I'm glad that we have it, and it is something that we absolutely do not take very lightly. We're very thankful for our lifestyle and our hard work that has gotten us there, and the man above that has enabled us to be able to do that. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I won't ruin it anymore with my talking. Calaveras area traffic, Comanche 3, Papa's a two and a half mile final runway 31, Calaveras. Who was that? Yeah. Fucking A, Cotton. That was a grease right in front of Josh. I hope you saw me. Okay, He's like, yeah, good landing, but you floated all the way down the runway. That doesn't okay. really count. <laughs> what the runway's for? Yeah. I gotta be down here anyway. Oh. One hour and four minutes. Yeah. That's a quick flight. 
get us so quick. And it's easy, too. It's such yeah. an easy flight. 